Welcome back, fellow armchair generals. And if it's not welcome back, but welcome. I hope I'm earning your subscription. This is, of course, Gamer1745, and we are playing Hearts of Iron 4's Black Ice, which radically changes the game. It's near to a total conversion type mod, so some of the stuff that holds true um, doesn't in this. So, and I'm still learning this, and I've been evaluating this mod, and so far I'm very pleased. Lots and lots of problems that I see and I talk about, but very pleased overall. Um, and I think even the developers would acknowledge that there's, because they're still working on it, um, that there's a lot to still be developed when it comes to this mod and things better balanced and fixed and whatnot. Okay, you guys are coming here. Now, talking about strategy. Well... This is mostly a um, a test playthrough to see if I want to spend the time to learn the details of this game. And so I was just asked about what strategy. Generally speaking, moving east. Um, beyond, you know, yeah, sure, we have goals of Moscow, Leningrad, whether I personally, I don't know if Stalingrad has some sort of if you take it, they particularly surrender more likely or not. Um, but yeah, generally to push east, we are at September. We are very early. What We are very early into the invasion. We started late because of one... Probably my biggest complaint is the amount of time it takes to do each national focus. They've increased so many. They need to shorten the time to be able to do some of that stuff. So, yeah. So we're generally just moving east. We're seeing how this goes. We're seeing how this plays. My... I have yet to fully play and learn and do a game um, in which my dream is to finally have a game that doesn't need artificial... Oh, hey, yeah! Because... What about two years ago got me to stop playing this mod was they had um, either benefits for the Soviets and or penalties for the the Germans just right in here and they and suppose they got worse. Oh well, gamer, you just needed to learn how to play better. Blah 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 blah. Well, I want to play a historically based game, and right now it's doing that in that Germany overran the Soviets, because we can just talk about how a German division, part of it is this, part of it is this with things like this, radios, things like more trucks, even on a basically infantry division where most transport is being done, well, you know, with horse transport, but a little bit of needed vehicle transport, as well as this command control that um, allowed a German division to be much, much more effective than a same or similar sized formation of Soviet forces. So, and a we can talk of a finer points of them, and I think the Mauser rifle is much better than the most in the Gaunt. But, and these guys are even using one captured most in the got, and somehow three Moss 36s, of course they would not be doing it, especially the Moss 36, different calibers and whatnot. But um, on a scale of a battalion of men, equal numbers equipped with these two, you know, rifles, there's not that much difference. You know, um, I would, you know, I would much rather have a Mauser rifle than a Mosin Nagant. But I wouldn't feel like, oh my god, they've got Mausers and we just got Mosin Nagant. Now, if they had M1 Garands and I have a bolt-action rifle, that'd be a different matter. <laughs> but just on the idea, and we could talk about the one bolt-action rifle that does sort of have enough difference, which being the Enfield with its 10-round capacity, I might argue that that additional capacity is enough to
absolutely good. So we're going to add these guys and push up like that. Because these guys are coming across and these guys are coming that way. So um, this gets you into the idea of that the Germans were just so much more effective at this stage. And it's just really exhaustion and infrastructure problems that keep them from having total victory early on. And that's what I want it to be in this game. Again, not some crazy artificial penalties, but practical things like guys you and bullets I was just mostly unmotorized you go that way you guys hit there and see what we can do Okay, now we are across and we are pushing there. These guys are going to see about racing right around like that. They are motorized. These guys are pushing in through here. So over there, good. Crossing there. And so I, what I want to stop me is, you know, conditions I'm just overrunning, because that's what happened. That's the type of reality that they faced. Reducing this pocket, good. That had been over seven divisions. These guys are all trying to get across that river. Another division is across. Very good. Okay, you start pushing that way. Just got a few more across. You start pushing up that way. You can support that attack. You go into there. You push down to curse on. Counter attack.
So these are the easy times, the happy times. And the question is, is will Italy be able to hold down here? Well, so far it's now being pushed pretty hard by just a few British divisions. And no counterattack here, there, so, yeah. Wonder how it'll be when the Americans show up into the war. Continue to move along the railways. Oh, good. Okay, so this pocket, there was probably ten or more divisions there that were crushed. That's like these division here, and you continue on up to there. Continue on to there. You start moving north that way, I think. Okay, so they're pushing out that way. We'll keep coming here. We'll push along there. Counterattack. You push that way. You're getting pushed off. Okay, well. Well, let's see if we can go up and take Narva. There we go. Good path. You counterattack there. You fell back there, I gather. Well, if you cross the river. We're going to send you to here. Get past this. Non-motorized divisions just get to push straight into those guys. Come south. Well, I guess you can come this way through here. You'll probably go a bit faster. Right. 
What? No. Oh, one of these two pictures. This way. Keep pushing east. Keep pushing north. Keep pushing. You're all nice and motorized. You come down this way. See if you can take the northern part of Crimea. North there, I'm pushing. Or the south there. Look at the pincer movement. We're getting reinforcements soon. We should be moving up. Turn our mountain fighters into swamp fighters. got pushed back so we're gonna send you in there you're gonna come in here well, they're all coming across there so that's good yeah I see him pursuing us there Well, I'm going to uh, halt you and add your strength to that. There we go. Across, you go there.
and keep these guys from getting cut off. Uh oh, this failed, did it? Okay, well. Try it again. You guys should be moving. And now these guys should be moving. Zukov has been brought west. How are the oh goody, the Italians are falling back. Very good. Yeah, yeah, temporarily they've cut off my panzer movement there. We have forces that are coming to relieve the situation. I'll get across the river, you attack just to spoil that attack there. We are all the way to the test. All right, well, this is pushing very far east very fast. Um, Let's put you on trains to here. You're just gonna catch up. Okay, well. Actually, let's put you on planes and go that way, too. Hello, Polat. I guess that's how you say that. Um, I wonder if Stalin, if the Stalin line will be broken. Um, we will see how well. Uh, the problem is, is that I don't know how well the AI knows to, to garrison deeper defenses that the human would. I am not suggesting in any real way that what I'm doing here would be effective against, or as effective against the human opponent. Um, we're going to put just one division supporting that attack. Another division we're going to push north with, right there. Okay, now we got you here, so we're going to push into that province with two. Okay, we'll add an armor unit. The other one I want to send straight into Kiev.
Okay, so we got Narva. These guys are being pushed back here. We can join the fight with them. Well, to everyone that's new here today, remember to either subscribe or follow as whether that's Twitch or YouTube. Do appreciate to see people around more often. Okay, well, we have free dockyards. So, um, I'll pause. Uh, I think just more subs. That's all we're really doing here. Oh, I know we're just clock is slowly going forward. So we're still mostly building up the railways to see about keeping some supply going forwards. As we can see here. So we've got plenty right now going to Riga there. It's a little more difficult, more forward up here, but we're Pushing along. Okay, so this is very weak railroads down through here for supplies. Yeah, if we can get Sevastopol, that would help with the supply situation down there. All right, well, that's good. You can push there. You drive and join your friends up there. Oh good, the great bulk of you are across that river. Looks like they're, well, let's send one division this way. I know they're not, they're not having a good chance here, but what I'm trying to do is tie up all those units that will allow these guys to get across the river and cause more chaos and mayhem. Is everybody in Kiev yet? Oh, there we go. Fall of Kiev. Well, hey, just watch the fall of Kiev. Okay. Well, they're counterattacking with some divisions. Okay, you're basically shattered, and so are you. Um, you can help that situation there, and you can join there. Uh, Romania, uh, yeah, Romania, some land. Yes, we will do that. So, there we go. That's sort of Romania, Greater Romania now. We've taken away, well, we've given this to Bulgaria. We've given this territory up here to Hungary. Uh, Though it looks like they did get a little bit of Yugoslavia there. And, of course, the Soviets had taken all of this. You got that back. Got a little bit up there. And they've got over here. This is sort of greater Romania now. They should be happy with me. We have embargoed the Republican I Why? We 
you guys keep on moving forward. You guys can push there. You can support that. Better overwhelm them than underwhelm them. You go back to marching and keep marching up that way. You can march into there. You're going to push that way. You're going to push up to help them. You're going to push up to help them as well. So you attack there. Yeah, that's well enough. You push there. You push up here as well. You push there. All right, we just took Smolensk, so we've done that. We've taken Narva, so we hold this side of the river there. And we yeah, clean up a little bit of Estonia, and we are pushing down into Crimea. We need more strength down there. Oh, let's put you on rails and come down this way to reinforce that. Now, do we have any... More division now. No more divisions have been trained. So, um, Italy is being pushed back in North Africa. Um, they've lost Sardinia and Corsica. And Japan is doing reasonably well against China. So that's the current state of the war. And I think we're going to end this episode here. I want to thank everybody. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, hope to see you next time. We'll be continuing with more, yes, more Hearts of Iron.